this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to Let's Play Chrono Cross! Again! I decided that I love this game so much that I'd play it again for you guys! All the way through! Beginning to end! So, let's pick up right where we left off at the end of the last game. I, I wonder what that extra save file was for. Whoa, we got New Game Plus and Continue Plus now? What does that mean? Well, let's start with a new game plus, and we'll go off the or we'll go over the uh, new game plus or the continue plus later on down the road. But yeah, now I got to insert disc one, so I'm just gonna skip the intro sequence for now and pick up right at the beginning there. All right, we're back in at the beginning here, so let's get this show on the road. And for those of you who are wondering, I had uh, Pulsal in my party at Fort Dragonia this time around. Pulsal! And apparently Mom is waking me up in bed, just like every RPG. Gotta start in bed. Or on a train. However that works. What the? We start with the Time Mag in a new game plus? What good's that gonna do me? Well, let's head over to Apasa Beach and find out. I mean, surely we can't go straight to the end of the game right at the beginning. Oh, well, first we gotta open up our shades. I can't imagine that helps that much with sleeping. All right, we made it through Lizard Rock there, so let's check out the beach now. Shell Beach? No, no, Apasa Beach. Now, in order to do what I'm doing here, you have to make it through to here without le talking to Lena and without Pulsal in your party. And, well, this is always available, but you can already go straight to the end of the game with the Time Egg. We also got a couple other key items in a new game plus, the Time Shifter and the Relief Charm. I'll go over those soon enough. But, yeah, let's head straight to the final boss. Why not? Let's just get it over with. Yeah, I'm not going to go through 120 episodes again, Bruce. Man, I hope I can take him out all by myself. What do I do without the Chrono Cross? Well, we just got to take care of him the old-fashioned way with uh, brute force. And that can be pretty hard, but I think I've got the right setup. Now, one of the nice things about taking out, well, about a new game plus in general is that... With the Time Shifter item, if you press the R1 button, you see that FF there? You can fast forward, you know, in the game itself. You don't need an emulator or anything. So that's pretty nice. Just hold that down and you can go through lengthy attack animations pretty easily there. So, yeah, I mean, that'll really help you out if you're playing on a PlayStation or if they ever decide to put it on... Uh, what is it? That download PlayStation Network, whatever that thing is. I don't know. I don't have a PlayStation 3. So anyway, the reason we want to defeat... I'm going to say Lavos, not Time Devourer, because that's just silly. But you know, the reason we want to defeat Lavos the old-fashioned way in a New Game Plus right now is because as you go through a New Game Plus, when you defeat... Lavos will determine which ending you get. You get a different ending now instead of, you know, whatever normal stuff you get. And that it'll be as though, like, well, what would have happened if, you know, the game ended at this point in the game? You know, well, the New Game Plus endings will answer that question. Now, as you can tell, I'm absorbing, well, basically everything Lavos is doing to me. Uh, the reason is because I have the green plate equipped. Uh, when you do a New Game Plus, uh, your levels carry over. Most equipment carries over, unless if it's like a key item, like the Ein Lancer or the Mastrune, or uh, more importantly, the Blue Brooch. I really wish I had that, but, well, we don't. So, yeah, key items obviously would not carry over into a New Game Plus. Um, I don't know the exact list. I'm sure there's a list on GameFAQs somewhere about that, but yeah, you can look it up if you really care. By the way, that other item that I had in my uh, key item list is called the Relief Charm. The way that works is if you use it, 
Uh, I think it happens at the beginning of a battle or something. I forget. But essentially, it allows you to switch someone else into your party instead of search. So I guess you could balance out your stat gains or something like that. So search will still be on the world map, but you can still switch someone else in. So if you feel like it, you can do that. Now some people were telling me about Lavos' attack pattern here, how he'll always cast, at least at the beginning, he'll always cast the opposite colored element of whatever is the next in the Chrono Cross series of elements, until you deal a sufficient amount of damage. Now even though the Chrono Cross isn't here, you still, um, he'll still, you know, attack as though it were. So, like, you see, he went yellow, then the next one is red, the next one will be green. So what I want to do is, since I actually could use a bit of healing, uh, let's see... Yeah, yeah, let's go three, three, and then I want to cast Heal Law to cast the next element in the series. Now, the reason I want to do this... Now, he won't always cast the next element in the series, it depends. But sometimes he will. Yes! Oh, please don't freeze me, please don't freeze me. Please don't freeze me. If I survive this, I'm good. Okay, good, good. I didn't get frozen. Okay, so now what I want to do is set up the next element, black. Because the way his attack pattern works is if you set up the elements in order for the Chrono Cross, once you get the first six going, he'll freeze. Yes! Got it. I forgot to mention that the last time I... Well, it assumes that I survived, that is, too. Do I survive? Yes, okay. In Even in a regular new game, once you set up the first six elements for the Chrono Cross, uh, Lavos won't be able to do anything. He'll be somewhat frozen. He can't take any actions. And you'll just keep on getting your stamina refilled over and over and over again. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty much the easy way of defeating Lavos in a new game plus. To set up the order of elements for the Chrono Cross, the six elements, and then that'll be it. And you can basically go hog wild. He won't be able to attack you ever again. It's like he's paralyzed in fear that you're going to use the Chrono Cross. The only thing you gotta worry about is literally getting frozen, like with a blue attack element or something like that. But if you can do that, you're in pretty good shape. And then, you know, just freeze him and you're good to go. He, he can't attack you or anything. So, yeah. Just don't cast any other elements ever again, and you'll be fine. How many more rounds do I gotta go through this anyway? By the way, some of you were asking about that Crimson Echoes game or whatever. I'm not really interested, so, you know, don't bother asking. I mean, I'm not interested in fan fiction or things like that. I'll be honest with you, viewers. It's got a lot of HP, but uh, we'll get them eventually. Got the Spectra Swallow because obviously the Master Mune did not carry over in the New Game Plus. Oh crap, I'm getting poisoned. Can I defeat him before I get poisoned to death? Let's find out. Yeah, yeah, I should be able to defeat him. But which ending do we get for defeating the Time Devourer in a New Game Plus? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Ha ha, Scala, you died with the Time Devourer. Or go to the darkness beyond time. <laughs>